What the hell? Oh, it's alive. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, it's day number 43 on our round the world trip and we are here in Morocco. Morocco! Yes. <laughs> we camped here last night at a rest area just outside the town of Larache. Five euro for the night or 50 dirham and we camped here on the grass. So we had two uh, birthday parties yesterday here. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> one was just uh, just here next to us and the other one was over there. And then we had a lot of uh, activities going on until like three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the locals are using this place quite a lot, which is nice to see. It's, it's, nice a, to it's see, not just yeah. a rest area or a camping area. It's a local hangout and there's like a bar cafe behind us. And um, yeah, it was a hive of activity last <laughs> night. Eventually we had some peace and quiet and managed to have uh, a bit of sleep, which was nice. So we've packed up and we're ready to hit the road, but let me show you where we are gonna go today. Okay, so we are here, just outside of Larache, and uh, here is where we went to yesterday to try to find the camp. This is definitely not the campsite. It is too comfy. Yes. The two boats closed. Oh, <laughs> okay. And then we went back up to Larache, where we found this place. And today we are gonna be heading cross country into the heart of North Morocco, all the way to Fez. So it's about 140 miles to go today and we are heading inland, which is really exciting. And I can't wait to see what Fez looks like as a city. That looks like it's gonna be absolutely an incredible place to visit. It's already 10 o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. 21 degrees at the moment. It's not too bad, eh? Very pleasant. Very pleasant. Goodbye, Campy. Goodbye, little camp. Goodbye, little doggy sleeping in the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. Salam. Salam. Yeah, pretty chilled this morning after the big party that was here last night. It looks like this place really comes alive in the evenings. Ready to hit the road. So we just did a U-turn because Lavi said she spotted a turtle on the road. So we are going to check that out because I want to see what's going on with that. Wait, oh it's still there. Where? There, straight ahead. <gasps> Is it dead or? I don't know. Just uh, park here on the road. What the hell? <gasps> it's alive. It's alive now. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Do you think they just have native turtles or do you think it's like a pet? Lavi's gonna put the turtle over there under the tree in that little garden area. Some sheepies on the side of the road. Yeah, the landscape starts to change. We can see some hills. Yeah, it's gonna get more and more 
mountainous I think as we go along as we get more and more down towards Fez Look here's a tagine massive amount of uh, pottery look at that wow Stopping here at a rest area along the way. We've done about 30 miles, 35 miles so far, and uh, we're gonna have some eggs. Lavi's having a Moroccan salad. Yummy! Bumblebee's chilling over there. Very nice little place, hey? Yeah, totally. Then there's like a hotel and uh, restaurant, cafe, petrol, kind of everything you need all in one place. Refuel and get on the road again. Yes, so this lunch cost us three euro. Yeah, 30 dirham. I think that three, three euro is not going to break the bank. Just about. Staying in budget. <laughs> Obviously, every day we can spend less is much better for us because we don't have unlimited money. <laughs> when we have been three months on the road, we will um, break everything down and uh, see where we at, how much we have spent for accommodation, food, uh, food, groceries, uh, transport, all of these things. Yeah, at one point we're gonna do a video and break that all down. But look at this little place here. Ah. There's something going on. Yeah, we're coming into a small town here. Got some tagines on the go over there. Some sunglasses. Looks like we are heading up into some more hilly terrain. I can see that the road gets a little bit wiggly up ahead. So it should be quite a nice road through the hills. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, getting into the hills. <laughs> Rolling hills. starting to get higher up into the hills 
and the landscape is just opening up around us there's just vast 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 plains all around still sort of cut up into sections so it's like they're still farming up here or they're still using it for pasture or for growing yeah it looks epic it looks epic but you can still see that there's the that there's, there's sand in the atmosphere so we don't really have like the clearest view but um, it's still really epic starts to get really cool up here wow yeah. very nice also the temperature has dropped a few degrees since we've uh, climbed in elevation so it's like 26 degrees now so it's actually like still cooler than where we were in Spain so uh, not so bad so far Oh, another onion truck. That's quite a nice smell when you're stuck behind them though. It's just this <laughs> nice aroma of onions coming backwards. <laughs> Inside that truck must smell really nice. <laughs> So it's now three in the afternoon and we're getting much closer to Fez now. We're about 20 miles away, but it's starting to get uh, much drier around here. We're really seeing a change in the environment. Yeah, it looks spectacular. It's really, it's really spectacular landscape. Yeah, look at this. And you can see it's just getting more and more barren and rocky and yeah, but the color of the landscapes uh, changed quite a lot and it's more in this yellow, red, light red-ish colors. It's, it looks nice, it looks like a painting. A uh, beautiful palette. Okay, we are coming down out of the mountains and now we can see the city of Fez laid out in front of us we can start to see this big load of white buildings all in front and uh, yeah that is the city of Fez and that is where we're going to be spending a couple of days yes and we booked actually a room in the um, old town where we can't really uh, drive Bumblebee to so we have to park <laughs> Bumblebee up somewhere yeah. secure parking and then we have to walk in it's a really nice place. It's like a traditional Riyadh in the old town, in the Medina or near the Medina. Yeah, we found the room on Airbnb and it was, uh, I think, 12, 12 euro. So a pretty good price. The pictures, they looked amazing. So I'm super excited to see how, how it looks for real. Yeah, yeah. Ça va? Tu as BTC? Oui. Oui, là-bas? Bye bye. bye bye! This is cute. They are cute, hey? Ha, huh. okay, alright, we're going. We got just over six miles now heading in in into the city and so we will meet our host actually in front of a hotel where they have parking for our little bumblebee look it looks like you got a bit more of the oh yeah of the old town eh? of the old town coming up in front oh my lord he's coming out yep 
yeah the lanes and indication and this type of thing is not uh, it's not too clear it's kind of everything happening you just gotta sort of look around you and try not to bump into anyone I guess is there a taxi just there yep oh look there's like a ancient gate that we're gonna be going through <laughs> yeah I think this must be the walls of the old city oh wow because you can sort of see this like old walls all the way along yeah so I think once we go up through here we'll be heading into the older part of Fez Wow there we go <laughs> made not, it through the gate not bad whoa look at this it's just like a sprawl of buildings on this side of us and so many taxis these red taxis this is the taxi of Fez and they look like they've been styled on the Fez hat because the Fez hat is red with a golden tassel on the top oh. and these taxis are red with a golden block on the top <laughs> oh yeah look we're going just to the yeah uh, right here but then we're going around and we're going in there that way yes okay these taxis aren't going are they they're all waiting and then the hotel is just just here right like right here hotel bata this one there ah okay this okay one. okay hotel bata i see okay we are quite into the center of fez now waiting for our airbnb host to come and tell us where we can park around this area because we've got to carry all of our motorbike stuff all of our gear up to the room i think it's going to get really sweaty okay we're in a little parking garage oh and he wants me to go in between the cars here oh my god ah good 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 <laughs> just followed our host down into this underground parking which is underneath the hotel that we were just in front so this is a nice secure place for mumblebee to stay so now we have got to take off our clothes because i'm boiling hot and unpack the bike just entered the old town here and there's no cars no, no, and no, no bikes on this uh, streets in here. But he is son of the dangerous bike. Okay. But if the police catch him, he will pay penalty. Ah. Oh, it's, I'm sweaty. Oh, here we go. Look how narrow these streets are. This place you can't enter like frigider, TV, something like bigger. Okay. This you cannot, you have to. Yeah, upstairs. this is like the. No way you can take. Look. Yeah. It's done. It's done. No yeah. Way. See? No way. Yes. You can, if you are fat, you cannot <laughs> enter. <laughs> And these are your neighbors here? Yeah, many people live in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I was able to <laughs> Wow, that was some kind of journey in. We were already like so hot on the bike and then jumping off the bike and then we had to unpack the bike and it was just really hot and we were wearing our trousers and boots and then carting all our stuff through into the old town through the streets. Whew, oh my God. Just need to have a lie down now. <laughs> we are dead. But luckily we made it alive, safe and happy to the right place. We and did. Karim, the host, is just amazing. He was carrying our stuff. He was helping us. So I'm really thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to show you this awesome Riyadh that he has apparently just started up only three weeks ago, I think. Uh, they only just opened, but we have to show you this place. show you the kitchen look at that place wow got our, our late lunch just here and then they have a little kitchen area just here yeah and it's all centered around this sort of massive atrium which stretches all the way up and there's not even a roof on it it's just straight out to the top, but we'll go up to the top now. I'll show you the view. That's definitely the best part for me anyway, because I love nice views.
Look at this all around us. It's just like rooftops, 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 rooftops. And then there's like a ancient wall of the city all the way along. And then the mountains in the background. But it's super cool to be here in the old town, like right in the center in the Medina area of Fez. This is, this is absolutely stunning here. So that's it from us today. We really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, please share with your friends and family. We will see you next time.